Hello everybody, my name is Kai and welcome back to Warframe. Today we will be taking a look at Revenant, Revenant Prime specifically. Revenant Prime is one of the newest Prime Warframes to have released, releasing earlier this year and I think September. Revenant Prime is one of those frames that is just so ridiculously strong for a multitude of reasons. So let's go hop into the sim, explain his abilities, and I can show you the synergies that I've come up with today so you can one-shot any enemy in the entire game. And here we are in the simulacrum. Now, today I actually have two builds that I'm going to show you guys. One of them using Roar on Helminth and the other using Larva. Both of them achieve the same thing, but just through different means. So why don't we do what we always do and go over Revenant's abilities. Enthrall is Revenant's first ability. Enthrall does a lot of things for just one ability. So the best way to showcase it would just be to get some enemies in here. When I use Enthrall on one of these Corrupted Heavy Gunners, they will get some things above their head or whatever, and then they will, when they shoot other enemies, they will in turn enthrall those enemies. Now these are considered alpha thralls, a little bit hard to hear over all these gunshots, but alpha thralls, there can only be up to seven at once, will shoot other targets and act like allies for you. This has some synergies with other abilities in Revenant's kit, but we will get to those later. Now, if I come and I kill all of these enemies, you will see that the previously enthralled enemies leave behind these Eidolon pillars. These will damage targets, and they will convert enemies that are near them, or in their radius, into beta thralls. These beta thralls work the exact same as alpha thralls, but they will not leave behind these energy pillars, so it means that you can't infinitely sustain with just one cast of this ability. These energy pillars will also last for 10 seconds. Revenant's second ability is Mesmer Skin. Mesmer Skin is Revenant's tank ability, so when you cast Mesmer Skin, you will... If you look where our ability icon is, have 13 charges. Now these 13 charges, whenever you take any damage from status effects or just bullets or anything, you will just not take damage and you'll become invulnerable for one second. Any enemies that also shoot you when you have Mesmer Skin up will become stunned for five seconds and then you are free to cast and throw on them for no energy cost. So if I get some enemies back in here, you see that they shoot me. She got stunned, I can enthrall her, and I do not use any energy. The amount of Mesmer Skin charges that you get is dependent on strength, and it will round up. So right now, it says that I have number of charges, 13.38. This will round up to 14 in-game, but the 14th charge will just be displayed as zero. You are also immune to self-stagger in this state, so you can shoot freely at yourself and not burn up a charge. Self-damage is negated. Revenant's third, and one of the most complicated, if Enthrall and Mesmer Skin didn't have enough nuance to them, is Reeve. When you cast Reeve, you will become intangible, invulnerable, and also not get affected by new status effects. The duration that you are in this dash form here is affected by ability duration, and the width, as you can see, this like purple energy around me, is affected by ability range, and the speed that you go at is affected by sprint speed. So if that wasn't complicated enough, we get to what is arguably one of the coolest things about this ability. Reeve scales off strength to do pure health drain. At base, any enemy that you hit with Reeve will be relieved of 8% of their maximum shields and health while Revenant restores exactly that from each enemy leeched. You also pass on active status effects that you have to enemies that you hit with Reeve, although you cannot take status effects from Mesmer Skin when it's active, so kind of useless. Now, the main synergy here is that Thralls, which are created by your Enthrall ability, take five times more damage from Reeve, which allows you, at 250 ability strength, to one-shot any Enthralled enemy. This is where the, most of the Revenant one-shot synergy comes from. You are practically invulnerable with Mesmer Skin, and with Enthrall and Reeve combined, you can one-shot. But you can only have a max of seven Thralls up at one time with Enthrall. And Reeve can one-shot unenthralled enemies. But there are a couple ways that you need to do before you can do that. So let's go over how we achieve that. One last thing, actually, before we move on to the fourth ability here, is that while you have Mesmer Skin up and you hit targets with your Reeve, you will regain Mesmer Skin charges. So you will never need to really recast this ability. But moving on to Revenant's fourth ability, Roar. This is obviously not his, but the reason that we use Roar is because Roar is a universal damage buff. What differentiates this from things like Eclipse or Zada's Whisper even, is that Roar buffs the damage of your abilities. So think of frames like Gyre or Protea, who have abilities that damage, like the turrets or her um, uh, electricity, whatever you want to call those. These, the Roar specifically, buffs the damage that those abilities do. So when you combine it with Reeve, 
and the viral status effect, which we will be using a viral, like pure viral epitaph to prime, you are able to increase the damage that your reeve does to the point where you don't need to enthrall enemies because at around 285 or 95 strength, you can one-shot any enemy with about five viral stacks when you have roar up. Let me show you what that looks like. Using my epitaph, which is modded for pure viral, nothing else, because that is the only status effect that we want here, we are first going to use roar. Status effect these enemies. I'm actually going to group them a little bit. We group them like this, get them status on them. And now when I just go through them with reeve, I one-shot them, and they are not even enthralled. If I demonstrate one more time, we are using a pure bio epitaph. We just proc these enemies, I'll group them for simplicity's sake. And then we use Roar and Reef. Boom. Now the thing about this build and why we're using a pure viral epitaph is because you'll see right there that that enemy did not have max viral stacks and we did not one shot them. This is because you need nine or more viral stacks on an enemy. So we build for lots of viral and pure status chance so that we can, you know, in three or four shots, get very high viral status, and it allows us to just one-shot any enemy in the entire game. We don't even need to use Enthrall, although it is nice to have them up, just because they are they um are priority targets for enemies, so that makes them shoot at them more than you, which also isn't really that big of a deal, because you have Mesmoskin, which makes you invulnerable. So now that you are aware of the synergy between Mesmoskin and Mesmoskin, what am I talking about? Reeve and Roar and the viral status effect, let's take a look at the actual way we build Revenant. So again, as I stated before, you want as much strength as possible on Revenant because one, it affects the drain on your Reeve, the damage buff from your Roar, and how many Mesmoskin charges you get. So we are building every single strength mod except for Blind Rage because we do not need the negative 55 ability efficiency nor the 99% more ability strength because we are using Malt Augmented. Now, this is not necessary in terms of one-shotting with Reeve and Roar. But it does give us more stacks on our Mesmer skin, which is nice because we don't need to cast it as often. But that also isn't really that big of a deal because we can just reeve enemies and get more Mesmer skin charges. Very, very well designed and synergistic frame here. It's unfortunate that his fourth ability is so lackluster. But regardless of that, the rest of the build we are building for slightly above the negative range that we get from narrow-minded this is just because we do not want to have a very tiny width on our reeve because it allows us to then affect less enemies and since we are not using a grouping helmet on this ability we are using roar we want to be able to hit as many enemies as possible this also means that as you saw earlier i am using the magus anomaly arcane on my operator which means that when i transfer it back into my warframe it pulls enemies towards me this is really useful because you can just double tap it twice and then you get them grouped very, very tight. And you can do that. The thing about building Revenant is that he doesn't really want very many stats besides strength and this amount of duration is not necessary. But there are so many open slots on this build that I couldn't really think of anything else to put here because, I mean, not having to recast this isn't that big of a deal because we're going to be killing so many enemies that we wouldn't really mind the energy drains, but like, so I just threw natural talent here in this last slot, 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 because it just makes these animations a lot faster, especially for Reeve, which we'll be using a lot, and Mesmer Skin is nice too, because if you do lose those Mesmer Skin charges and your shields go down, you'll have that 1.3 second shield gate still, and then you can just cast Mesmer Skin again, which is a lot faster, and allows you to be practically invulnerable, but you shouldn't really be running out because of Reeve restoring your Mesmer Skin charges. Here in my Epitaph, I'm running Pure Viral. Normally you run two or three elements because it is a great primer for condition overload or just spreading status effects in general. But here we only want Viral to increase our capabilities of one-shotting. So we run Frostbite and Pistol Pestilence for the status chance. Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent give us fire rate and multi-shot. So we have 2.8 multi-shot here, which means that we can fire up to three bullets at once with a single trigger pull and at a 155 percent status chance that means that those three bullets each of them has a chance to proc two status effects which allows us to get six status effects in a single trigger pull obviously we will also be triggering the ips the impact puncture slash so it is not guaranteed viral the entire time but through the use of sure shot and auger seeker and perpetual agony which give a status duration this is more status chance you can get 10 viral stacks on an enemy fairly quickly Focus schools on this build are use whatever you want. 
I just stick on Xanarik because it's nice for the energy gains if you run low sometimes, but you can use Matarai for the extra ability strength on repeated sling and the casting speed from power transfer. So that is very, very doable. Actually, if you do run Matarai and you come in and out of your operator, which you will be doing a lot because of Megas Anomaly, your casts are very, very fast. Very fast. That is the Roar build on Revenant. Now, this second build that I have for you guys is a bit different. It uses Larva, Nidus' helmet ability, to group enemies to allow us to one-shot a big group a lot easier. But we do actually need to now use Maltog Vented fully stacked up to get us that plus 60 ability strength, bringing us to 283, and then the growing power bringing us above 300. And you need 10 viral stacks here. This is because with the lower strength, we don't get as much of a drain from our enemies with Reeve and Larva we need range for. So we build for range, but we don't want a lot of duration here because Larva then lasts longer and you cannot cast multiple of these at one time. This is a very cast heavy build because you're going to be spamming Larva a lot. So I'd use Archon Flow here. This last slot right here, it is unfortunately a Vazor and Polarity, so I could not fit any useful mods in here. But if you want, you could, this is kind of your flex slot. I still recommend running Natural Talent. You could run Argo Message for a little more duration if you like that. Uh, you could run Streamline for efficiency. Uh, strength, I don't recommend you run Blind Rage. If you do run Blind Rage, you'd probably drop Augur Secrets, and then you'd want to use uh, Fleeting Expertise or something here. Those are all up to you. But this build is relatively the same, except it just makes it a lot easier to group a lot of enemies. Obviously, I do not have max multi augmented stacks right now, so I'm not going to be able to one-shot. But when I take the Larva here, use my Epitaph, prime all these enemies... And go through them at max multi augmented stacks this will work pretty much in the exact same way you will kill them pretty much instantly the remaining parts of the build are pretty simple i just used the phantasm because the phantasm is great for spreading status and stuff but not really necessary you won't be using it that often and the glaive prime i use on this build because it is a good acolyte killer obviously you could throw corrosive on your phantasma to strip the armor of the acolytes and then use glaive prime to take them down because reeve and enthrall and stuff doesn't work very well on the acolytes so yeah why don't we go jump into the steel path and show you why people love Revenant so much? Because, swear to god, this frame is so OP. The ability to one-shot anything, even up to level 9,999, because it is a health drain true damage, is ridiculous. So, let's go do that. One note very quick before we get in is that a Panzer Volpophyla is going to be your best friend. That is because of the viral quills. This just adds viral to an enemy and you know spreads them very very well so you won't even need to use your epitaph that much if your panzer is alive and stuff which is very easy to do because panzer de-evolution makes it never die so running a panzer is almost a necessity because it spreads viral which then increases the damage of our reeve by a lot okay here we are in mott in the void on the steel path my favorite place to test things for you guys we're just going to get it started real quick here i am using the roar build right now just for simplicity's sake and then, excuse my Zen Arc's gem, I myself a little energy. Now, just so I can get some energy to get this started. I also swapped over to a Corrosion, uh, Corrosion, Corrosive Phantasma to help with Acolytes. Now we're just going to start spreading this around. We'll cast our Roar, and, like, if we wanted to just, you know, one-shot all of these enemies, like, we just could. Which is the funny part. It's... Yeah, the, the thing about Revenant is that the ability to one-shot base level Steel Path enemies is not ridiculously useful because they're not hard to kill in general. So it's only up, like, when you get up to, like, you know, level 1,000, uh, level 1,000, level 9,000 and stuff that it's like, okay, well, now I actually want to be able to one-shot these enemies because they have so much health and armor. But at this level, where my Phantasma can just insta-kill them, what's really the point, if you know what I mean? But we could still do it, and that's funny. I'll group these enemies. I think, yeah, like, who is not going to say that that's not fun to do? One more time. Group these enemies, a little bit more actually, and then we're going to prime them all. Woo, just one shot them all. Nice, like, when I, you know, I got the, in the thralls going or whatever, but they honestly, like, don't really contribute that much, so whatever. Get a roar back up. Scoop these guys. I delivered a life support capsule yeah. The area. That's just like, that's just fun. And then if you build up your multi-augmented stacks with the larva build, you just throw down a larva 
do this, reeve right through it. You don't even need to use this ability or this arcane. You can even run through some enemies multiple times to just hit them with the drain off reeve twice. Like, very, very chill and lax playstyle. I use Revenant to test a lot of weapons because he just, you know, cannot die due to magic skin and can do that. Like, yeah. The, the, the one thing I'll say is that this build can't really deal with Acolytes, but that's not a big deal when we have the Glaive Prime. And even if, even if you reap through some enemies and it doesn't insta-kill them, I mean, it did right there. What about this guy? And you just turn around, do that, and that'll pretty much kill them all the time. Now that we've got some multi-augmented stacks, I honestly don't even think we really need to, um, pull, hit these enemies all with viral. Yeah, we, we only need to proc it like once or twice to be able to one-shot these guys. Which is pretty damn good if you ask me. I just hit them twice and then run through them and kind of just kill everything. It's it's, it's a very lax playstyle and a lax frame because I'm not really trying here. Like, nope, oh, I'm gonna die. Nope, I'm not because I just cast this. <laughs> it's fun too. A very easy frame to do your first level cap with would be Revenant, so, you know, maybe consider that, because he's, he's invulnerable at all levels of content. But these drones can get annoying with the, with the Reeve stuff. And then these are all Eximus units. What's... oh, this thing. There we go, and now you'll die. Oh, here's an Acolyte, was waiting for this. Get Roar up, and we cast this. Torment. I mean, we'll do we'll do we'll do the combo on him. I actually don't remember. Can you enthrall acolytes? You can. Maybe I was wrong, everybody. Oh crap! I just lost all my energy. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna use the Glade Prime to kill this fool. And there you go. But yeah, that's the build. Very very simple. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head out of this mission real now. That is going to be it for this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. The Sado, Sado, I got people who are angry at me in the comments for pronouncing it Sado. Um, but anyways, that video is doing so, so well, and we're about to hit 1.3 thousand. When I tell you that that is such a crazy thing to say, because remember that I hit 1,000 on December 25th, and it's December 29th, and we're going to hit 1.3, just like... The support that you all you guys have been showing out with is absolutely insane and i you know i got some donations from some very very generous viewers last night and i just hope that you guys understand just how much i appreciate you so yeah like thank you thank you so so much i actually want to give a quick shout out to them real quick we have um mcintosh weber who donated me 20 dollars like what an absolute g and power gas and snuggle Doug, who also contributed 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 too like Thank you so much, guys. You guys are phenomenal, and I appreciate everything and all the support you guys have been giving to me, and I will continue to keep the content pumping out for you guys. I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.